I'm gonna have all kinds of fools mad at me. Cause I told these fools. The channel, the Brown Side channel on YouTube. Oh, we couldn't, we couldn't get it the other way. Huh? Nah, I, I could, but uh, <clears throat> I told all these fools that uh, they could, they could ask questions. I said, big motherfucking rich is gonna be in the house. Mm. It's going down. It's going down, homies. Spencer, we doing it on Facebook. Because we need all the questions coming. I can't do it on my Brownside channel. First talker show is going down, homies. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going down, homies. I don't even have the theme song ready, but it's coming. It's coming. I'm doing a hook like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not even ready for this shit. I'll be fucking up. Here we go to record it. We're gonna hit these fools. Real recognized, real, yeah. Real recognized, real, you fools know what's up. (laughs) Hell yeah. It's going down, homie. Yeah. Real recognize real, that's why they fuck with me. Real recognize real, cause I keep it cheap. Every time I spit, I bit the ha. I'm fucking up, huh? It's all good, it's all good. We gotta go drop this shit. We're gonna do it, homie. <laughs> we gotta go drop this shit, homie. I need my theme song. Let me, let me, let me yeah. fuck with it, let me fuck with it, huh? No, yes, no, yes, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, they all know, they, they know you here. Motherfucking big rich. We came up with something like this, you know. If you didn't know, yeah, you know. Fucking with that toka show. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Throw it up. If you did not know, now you know. <laughs> Fucking with that toka show. Yeah. Going back to back, like back in the day. Better watch it get your cranium cracked. That's right. All day. Said it's alright. It's alright. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh. Hey to see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. Fuck a hater. Here come that toker show. Fuck a hater. I said, <laughs> the haters say, ow, poker show. It's let me right. run, let me run. It's all right. It's all let good. me run and hide. Brown side. <laughs> hey, homie, we clowning. We ain't Body giving a fuck. Chronicles. Hey, homies, I didn't have my theme song ready, man. I couldn't go record it. I was going to do the toker show on, uh, on my Brown Side channel. But I don't know shit about that. I don't know shit about the Brown Side channel. I don't know anything about that. So they told me, you know what, homies? They can't ask you any questions. They can't ask you any questions, Toker, on the Brown Side channel. I said, what? Oh, fuck, man. I told all my G's, I told all my G's, all my Brown Siders, that today is the Toker show, the first episode. And my motherfucking Mexican Nate dog. I'm here. He said, let's rush to the studio, homie, and, and just record some shit. I'm like, I didn't even write nothing, homie. I, I, I couldn't even come up with shit. Hey, homie, but you, you, you were spitting earlier. I, I couldn't come <laughs> up with shit. And plus, me and, uh, me and my Mexican Nate dog a little tipsy, because we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate. And then my, uh, oh, my bad. We're going to celebrate. Today, me and my boy, we get loaded. I don't recommend this for no kids under 21. Did not touch this. This is poison. But when you got to celebrate, you got to celebrate. This is my theme. That's my uh, track for my theme song. Yeah. I got a little song. Real recognize real. That's why they fuck with me. Real recognize real because I keep it cheap. Hey. <laughs> I didn't write shit. But I'm going to give you fools. 
Hey, next time on the second episode, I'll have the theme motherfucking song every time this fucking show cracks. That shit will be cracking. And I like what my Mexican Nate dog came up with. He heard me spitting in the truck and he says, damn, Toast, can I get on it? I says, come on, dog. That's a stupid question, homie. <laughs> you can get on anything, motherfucking this and Toast got cracking. So he came up with the show. I was like, damn. I was like, yeah, I like this shit, homies. I like this shit. But that's the motherfucking track. That's the motherfucking track right there. Yeah. The Toka show's just begun. So let me show you fools how to have some G fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going down, homies. Straight up. Toka motherfucking show. My Mexican neat dogs in the motherfucking house. Right here, baby. Mm. Ready, ready. One, two, out, sleeping. <sighs> That's what it is, homies. The token motherfucking show, homies. Hey, once again, I'm sorry, man. I told everybody to subscribe to YouTube and then I go to the Brownside channel. But the second episode, we're gonna do it at the Brownside channel. Or oh, you know what? You fools tell me where the fuck you guys want me to do it at. If you want me to stay on this shit, I'll stay on this shit and I'll just have my motherfucking seeking weapons. Uh, uh, uh. Wicked people just snatch it up and put it on the uh, Brownside channel. But you fools tell me, if you fools want me to go to the Brownside uh, channel on YouTube, I go over there. But if you fools want me to do it like this, I do it like this and answer all your motherfucking questions. Whatever you fools want me to do, I'm gonna do. But this is the motherfucking Tokus show. We gonna talk about the hood, we gonna talk about the streets. We gonna talk about life. We gonna talk about everything, homies. Today, you fools get to ask my Mexican Nate dog anything you wanna ask. Today, you fools get to ask us a toast anything you wanna ask. Personal shit, how I like to hit it, what I like to do, <laughs> how I, anything, anything. <laughs> but this is the Toka Show, homies, and that's the motherfucking track to my Toka Show. Yeah, I didn't even practice my lyrics. I told some of my boys, homie, we going live. We just going to rap this shit live. And I was like, damn, homie, hey, dad, what time is it? He says, five minutes, dog. Like, what? Five, oh, <laughs> damn, fuck it. We do it next time. Hey, I got the easy part, homie. Yeah. That's I said, damn, t- I wish I had I, I wish I had your part. What, you say, what, what, what was it again? What was it again? Just a little bit, homie. Oh, oh damn. Oh. Okay, we can't even do it no more. One more time. One more time. One more time. Here we go, here we go. Hey, if you didn't know, now you know. Fucking with that toga show. That's me. Uh huh, yeah. If you did not know, now you know. Fucking with that toga show. That's me. Well, yeah. Damn, I'm going back to back, yeah. Fuck around, get your skull cracked. Uh huh. Going back to back. Fucking with them G tracks, you know. The haters say, oh, 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 no. Fucking with that Toka show. That's me, motherfuckers. You say, oh, oh. Here come that Toka show. Hey, 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 yeah. My motherfucking Mexican Nate dog, homies. That's my motherfucking Mexican right, Nate dog. Homies. And we gonna climb for one hour. One hour. This is an hour show, homies. I ain't trying to keep you fools up. I know you fools gotta go to work tomorrow. So this is like a one hour show. Fuck it. One hour show. As a matter of fact, goddamn. You know what, uh, Big Rich? Yo. I gotta take this shit off, homie, cause I'm. A, I gotta drop your shit. I gotta put your CD up there. Hell yeah, homie. Ah. Uh, besides that, let me climb up here. And we still gotta celebrate. Ah, oh, we got. I, we got smashed, though, homie. We gonna get <laughs> fucked up today. Fuck yeah, homie. Ah, uh, what's going on, my people? Once again, man, I'm sorry. I told everybody to subscribe to my Brownside channel on YouTube. I called my boy. I said, "Hey, doggy." Uh. Lace me up, man. How do I do this? Oh, one question before I go to the YouTube channel. Is my brown size, are all my brown size, are they going to be able to ask us questions and shit? He says, no, nah, man. 
I said, what? He says, nah, like on the next show you can answer it. I says, nah, homie, that's bullshit. I ain't doing it like that, homie. I told all my people they could ask us whatever the fuck they want to ask us. And uh, I just got to go back to the Brownside channel and do it there, man, because uh, I want to answer some of their questions, man. My boy says, yeah, dawg. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, man. We're going to check your show up. Check your show out. And as soon as he's done, we'll snatch it up and put it on the Brownside channel. Don't even trip. So check this out, my boys and girls, my homies, homegirls, my G's, GZs, my fools, my fulias, my motherfucking G's, my motherfucking sexies. All you brown siders, this guy that's the talks is back in the whole crew, my Mexican that's Nate right. dog. That's right. wicked, my Mexicas lady Benzo with a little fine, Chica, sexy ass, yes. uh, motherfucking Claire's, uh, uh, little danger, Travi G, uh, LA icon, Chino, Free Chino. They better lady mine. If not, we're gonna get a helicopter and break his ass <laughs> out. Uh, little talks. Little Tokes and said, Mama Tokes is a celebrity. Mama Tokes too. Little Thank Tokes. you from the bottom of our hearts, man, for having our back. Today, we're going to talk about the hood, we're going to talk about the streets, we're going to talk about life, so sit back and get you a comfortable seat. God damn, this shit right, dog. Mm -hmm. Shit, man. Just come up with it, homie. What's shit, up? I should have just went ahead and put the beat on, homie. You haven't even had a shot yet. Like I, hey, homie, whoo. Like me. <laughs> whoo, it is what it is. Okay, check this out, homies. Uh... Well, let me show you the kicks. I got to show you the kicks. I got to show you the kicks. I got the chucks cracking. I got the chizzity chucks cracking. I got the chucks cracking. Simone. Fresh. You got to keep them fresh, homies. You got to keep them fresh. If you don't keep them fresh and you step up to a fine-ass female, the first thing they do is check your kicks out. Cancels it out. And your kicks represent you. Your kicks represent you. You, Your kicks walk you around. They take you where you want to go. Your kicks take you where you want to go. So therefore, you got to keep your kicks clean like your ride. The ride takes you where you want to go. And I know you don't roll around in your dirty whip. I know your, I know your ride be clean. I'm roll tires. You have so much armor on your tires that all the flies stick to them. When you get home, you got all kinds of sand fucking flies around there. You got so much armor on. So that's how you got it. And then when the females look at you and your ride, they be like, oh, damn, that fool look good. But they're not really looking at your ride. They, I mean, they're not really looking at you. They're looking at your ride. Like, but, but you're a fine motherfucker in that ride. But if you drove around, if you drive around in a beat up car, Din it up and shit, they'll be like, damn, what the fuck that fool waving at? Fuck me before you got me fucked up. Same thing with your shoes. You got to keep them fresh. And when you step up to a female, what's up, girl? What's up, damn, girl, you look good. God damn, girl, you got a man? Nah, you do? You don't. That fool's stupid as fuck. Fuck you letting you walk around by yourself. If you're with my woman, I'll be handcuffed to you, girl. You crazy as fuck. They be loving that shit. They be like, what the fuck? Where'd this fool come from? I ain't never heard no shit like that. I'm like, girl, shit. You can walk on me. I'll be fucking laying on the floor. You don't even got to touch the floor. You can walk on me, girl. What you mean you got a man? That fool's letting you walk around by yourself? You crazy, but I'm going to work. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I'll take you straight to work, open the door, pull your seat back, bam, you sit down, and I'll go home and just be waiting on your phone call to bring you back home. Hey, but you got to keep your kicks super clean. I'm going to lace you fools up. Enough about me. My motherfucking Mexican Nate dog right here. That's right. Right so. here. Just so you fools know, those... I don't know if you fools remember my Margarito song when I had disappeared from the music game. That motherfucking, me and Margarito's got the same doctor. And the doctor called me and says, hey, man, because we were at the office at the same time. When Margarito, the Tornado de Juana, the boxer, the one that got his ass whipped by uh, Pacquiao. Doctor called me back and said, hey, Toast, you rap? He called me by my real name. He says, hey, Gilbert, you rap? And I'm like. I'll wrap a motherfucker up in a blanket after I dome his ass. What are you talking about? He says, no, you rap like you sing? I'm like, no, nah, faggot sing, man. I don't sing. <laughs> hey, well, what do you do? You do some type of music, he said. I says, yeah. 
He says, because I got Margarito Tornado de Tijuana right here seeing you walk out. And all his boys is out to ride. She's like, oh, I'm a toker. I'm a toker. I'm a toker from Brownside. So Margarito asked me if somehow, some way you can do him a song or something, like a rap song. I was like, nah, fuck him. I don't know no Margarito Tornado de Tijuana. Doctor says, come on, do me a favor, man. And he kept begging me and begging me and begging me. And I was like, damn, you going to give me some free medication, motherfucker, if I do this? He says, yeah. He says, yeah. I says, okay, I'm going to do a motherfucking rap song for that fool. I went ahead and did a Tornado de Tijuana. Ya regresó. Así es que pongas a tiro porque esto ya empezó. You guys remember that shit? The fucking brown side shirts I made? There they go right there. Right there, man. Right there. There they go right there. Those are the OG mother freaking, might have kids in the house, brown side shirts right there. That's right. Look at that shit. That's my Mexican Nate dog. He can have anything in my closet. <laughs> he went to the closet. Oh, well, check this out. Damn, I got all these people hitting me up. No way I'm going to answer right now, man. Come on, homies. Fucking on my token show. Yeah. Hey, uh, my boy brought like three suits. He brought like three suits. He was, he was getting ready. He was in the room. I was like, what are you doing, dog? He says, man, just token show, man. I got to get dug it out. Homie. I was like, you know what? You in my house. You in my house. We go to my closet and I got a Hugh Hefner motherfucking, uh, 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 what's it called? Robe? What, what, what's that shit called? Hugh Hefner. Uh, robe. Robe? Yeah. I got a Hugh Hefner robe up in that motherfucking dog. We do it like Easy e <laughs> did on Arsenio Hall. That's right. We do it how? Let me see. Yeah, That's the home field, homie. We do it like my boy Easy e did it on Arsenio Hall. The motherfucker came out. With some goddamn house shoes, short his crusty ass feet, and a motherfucking robe. I said, dog, if you want to wear the robe, dog, you can throw on the robe. He's like, damn, that shit sound kind of cool. And then he says, what's up with that brown side shirt? I was like, damn, dog. I said, nah, you my boy, man. You my Mexican nigga, dog. Go ahead and grab that motherfucking shirt, <laughs> doggy. He threw that motherfucker on and it fitted him fit like me, a man. fucking glove. Yeah, was that fit? This fit me right here, homie. Like a glove. He says, but let me get dug it out. Let me get, you know, how I dress and everybody knows me. I said, nah, homie. You and my motherfucking man cave. <laughs> we can do this interview in boxers if you want. Exactly. I'm good. In boxers, but <laughs> Mama Tox is coming home. I don't want Mama Tox to catch me with another phone boxer. She'd be like, damn, homie, what's really going on? So I said, you know what, doggy? Let's just get comfortable. If you want to borrow some of my house shoes. He said, nah, nah, Tox, you tripping, man. Just give me a shirt, give me a hat, and I'm cool. I said, all right, dog. That's right. This is the Toka Show, homie. We run our own program right here. We run our own program right here. This is the Toka Show. The truth. So if you didn't know, now you know. I'm trying to sing like a motherfucking Mexican nigga. <laughs> you was trying to sing But today, yeah, homies, <laughs> it is what it is. Cop a seat, homie. Cop a seat. Right here? Yes, you sit wherever you want to. Man, homie, this is... My... You know what? Let me see how I'm going to do this shit. Yeah, you can't get on the throne, homie. I'm sitting right here. This is right here. Yeah, I'm, but... I'm, 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 they got to see you, dog. It's like Johnny Carson and shit. It's like motherfucking Johnny Carson, homie, but my, mother, but my motherfucking Johnny sidekick. Johnny G. Carson. Yeah, motherfucking sidekick ain't here, dog. My motherfucking, uh, my little toast ain't here, man. Yeah. That's my motherfucking sidekick right there, man. You know what, big dog? Put that chair out. I want to sit over here because that light's fucking us up. All right. Put, put, bring that executive chair out. Bring that $3,600 chair out here, homie. Through each other. Don't break the bottles because then we'd be asked out, homie. We ain't going to be doing no celebrating. We're going to be crying homie. for these goddamn bottles. Yeah, I ain't even talking about dark This is the token show, homie. Spence, I, I told everybody to go ahead and go to the YouTube channel. Sign up. Uh, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All my boys are ready. Wicked's, uh, my, secret we uh, my secret weapons. Wicked's little cousins, little brainiacs, all computer there. He told me, hey, Tox, whoever's, whoever you want me to break in, whatever fool that's dissing, I'll find out where he's at, what's his name, his fingerprint, where he live at. These little fools are brainiacs, man. Brainiacs. Big shout out to my nephew, Fat Boy, the future quarterback for an L.A. team. Yeah. Big old shout out. Uh, my boy, Chris's son, little football player. He's a little stud. I'm going to put his picture up or I'm going to have him here on the hot chair. That little motherfucker got a cracking. That fool's going to break hearts just like he's breaking records right there, hitting touchdowns, running yards and all that. Just like he's breaking all that shit, he's going to break hearts. 
That little motherfucker's a stud, man. That's my nephew's Chris's son. Fat boy. I don't know why the fuck they call him fat boy. This fool look like a supermodel. This motherfucker is a little young quarterback. I guarantee you he'll be a L.A., some kind of L.A. team's quarterback soon. He'll make a, I'm going to find out what college or I think he's in what high school college? or some shit, doggy. Yeah, man, they show me some pictures and they show me the stats on him. Nice. This little motherfucker's breaking everything in sight, doggy. Nice. Uh, I have a feeling he'll be kicking motherfucking uh, Mark, Sanchez, Mark, Mark Sanchez. He'll be kicking his ass in the future. Remember nice. what I said. Big shout out to my nephew Chris and his son yeah. Fat Boy. Uh, let me see. Got to give a shout out to my other nephew, man. Let me see. Because it's a toka show. I like this shit, doggy. I can't even fucking. Fucking I can't even. Talk a show. <laughs> Why not? My, de my nephew, my other secret weapon, Daniel. My motherfucking nephew, Daniel. Oh, you don't want to fuck with him. That fool knows everything. To hey, hey, homies, I got a squad. I got a squad. Wicked, my motherfucking Mexican, very white. Wicked, very white, homie. <laughs> that fool is cool. Right. Hey, homie, he's like you. Motherfucking wicked's like you. You sing a bitch's panties off? <laughs> All we can gotta do is just start talking. Eh, 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 bitches' panties that just slide down don't like butter. Don't we know it. Don't we know Shh. Boy. And you know what? And I heard Barry White, Barry, uh, Barry White talk before, too. Barry White is a pimp, man. Same thing, homie. <laughs> Barry White is a pimp. If I can I come him, back, I him, if I, I can him. come back in somebody's body, I want to come back Mexican again, but I want to be a Mexican pimp like Barry White. Shh. Sit down, doggy. Sit down. We're going to do it differently now. We sit down, right here, sit down. That's that's the hot seat right there. That's the hot seat. Sit down, doggy. Put me on the hot seat, homie. We're gonna take a shot before we uh do Oh all man, you're already tipsy, doggy. Hold up, because I've made these people wanna ask you some questions, dog. What is this? <laughs> I wanna ask you some questions. But let me get you, let me get you. Here, this is the Toka show. We do we run our own fucking program right here. Check this out, homies. This is the first episode of the Toka show. We're going to talk about the hood. We're going to talk about the streets, man. We're going to talk about life. <clears throat> we'll talk about anything you fools want to talk about. My boy Rich G, his album drops Feb 9th. I've been giving you a little piece of it here and there. Check this out, man. My boy Rich, this is the first time he heard the shit. Today. Today. I'm, oh, check this out. Our Bucanas is holding our motherfucking phone. Yeah, motherfucking Bucanas is holding our phone. So check this out. How long you been with me? Half a day? Man, Most of the bro. day? Half a day to see what this guy does all day? Damn. You know what, Rich? I, 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 don't, busy, I, I don't know this, but you know what Rich is saying right now? I just got off the shower. I got to be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean, man. If I ain't clean, I ain't doing nothing. Check this out. He says, damn, Toast, serious, dog? I was like, what the fuck? what I do? He says, damn, dog, I've been with you, like, not even the whole day, dog, and it's been nonstop, dog. That's right. I says, welcome to my life, dog. <laughs> this <laughs> this is what working. I do. He says, damn, Toast, I net that, doggy. This is, like, too much, fool. That's right. I says, doggy, this is what I do every day, doggy. This is what I do. Right now, I'm tired. I don't know if you fools can see it in my eyes. I'm fucking tired, man. I got up at 4 o'clock this morning. My compa bought my... I don't know why the hell he keeps buying my little tokes all kinds of animals. My compa <laughs> bought my little tokes some miniature pigs and some goddamn peacocks and some goddamn turkeys. And I had to go take them to my spot, man. I got a big-ass spot full of ponies, now peacocks, miniature pigs, sheep, all kinds of shit, man. I made a bunch of corrals out there, corrales, whatever. To put a bunch of animals, man, I got this big old thing going on, but Mama Tux told me not to talk about it, so I won't talk about it. But anyways, I got up early, 4 o'clock in the morning, I told, I told Uncle, I mean, I told my compa, dang, compa, what the fuck, man? He says, I'm busy. I said, shit, I'm busy. He says, man, you want the animals? If not, I'm going to eat them. I'm going to cook them. I said, no, hell no, let me go get them. So it was like two hours away, man, so... I called my boy Bago and Rich. I said, you fools want to roll? I was hoping they said they didn't because I was just going to fly. They said, yeah. So Rich is like, God 
Damn, Tokes. See the ratchet, huh? We went from there to there to there to here to here to here. Damn, Tokes, do you ever stop it? I'll be on both phones. Okay, yeah. Nah, okay. See, okay. No, okay. Boom, ha, no. Ah, uh, nah, bitch, I'm married. Okay, nah, too cool. Okay, <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you better have my money, motherfucker. Nah, man. Okay, two phones. Nah, nah, fuck that, homie. Hey, they, hey, like I said, homie, you better have my money. Hey, nah, boom, nah, nah. He's like, God damn, dog. I said, homie, welcome to my life. It's true, homie. Welcome to my life. This is my life. I think my throat, I don't know what the fuck happened, but but I'm having, I'm kind of sounding a little bit like Wicked. <clears throat> well, not that cool, because Wicked is the <laughs> shit. You drank out of this one, doggy? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. That's oh, yours. That's no, yours. No, no. Have I drank out? I drank out? out of that one right there. No, 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 no. That's yours, doggy. This is mine. Is right that here. the one on the outside? Yeah. No, 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 homie. Yeah, this is mine. Dude. Shoot. I don't want your cooties, homie. It's all shit. Good. It's all good, homie. I'm clean. That's the toast got to have his water. That's the toast got to have his water. Straight up. This is my brother. I can talk shit to him. I don't want your motherfucking cooties, homie. He's like, I'm clean. I know you're clean, homie. This is my brother. I talk shit to him. Me and him be clowning. Shut the up. No, no, no. We don't get... Shut the fuck up. Never. I got too much respect for this fool. I look at him like my big homie. I look at uh, motherfucking Tony G like my big homie. Julio G like my big homie. Those are my big homies. Those are my big homies because they lace me the fuck up. They lace me up. Shayna Wilson, that's like my little sister. Shayna Wilson is the shit. Mm -hmm. Shayna Wilson is lacing us the fuck up. Yeah. Shayna Wilson's not only beautiful, she's not only fucking super fine. She's got brains like a motherfucker. Fucking work on Yeah, man. My little Shayna, man, be looking the fuck out, man. She be fucking looking out for us, man. I don't know what the fuck, man, but I appreciate her, Mama Tokes, Little Tokes, Little Danger's wife, uh, 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 his daughter, and the little baby daughter that soon's going to be my, uh, I'm going to be her godfather, me and Mama Tokes, so that fool better not change his mind, because I put a hit <laughs> on his ass and go kidnap the little baby, and we just hide her, and shit, they'll never see her no more, they'll yeah, see her when she's 15 years old, they'll have our last name, so you better let me be the godfather, homie, I ain't going to tell you no more. So nothing but love to Chino's lady, to Chino's family, nothing but love to Travis, his little girl too, little cutie, man, I was checking out her uh, little picture they put on Facebook. I told my wife, damn, baby, she a little cutie. How my wife says, damn, she a little cute ass baby. Nothing but love to Travi, his lady, his kids, uh, Icon, and his little sexy. Little, he's got even a little G sexy Icon. They keeping him on check because she's with it. She's with it, I mean. She cool. Uh, nothing but love to Wicked. Nothing but love to Wicked Sexy, his wife. You fools already know. I call Little Danger's wife is sexy. Yeah, that's Little Danger sexy. Yeah, that's Chino sexy. So now, nothing but love to my, my brother Wicked Sexy. Uh, uh, nothing but love to everybody's fans, man. My girl Benzo, my brother Clever. Nothing but love to everybody, man. I forget anybody. My Mexicas, Bolly G, Max, Kako. Nothing but love to their families. I mean, oh, man, I, psh, this is love, homies. Nothing but love right here. So check this out, man. Uh, who did I forget, doggy? Because I hate doing this because sometimes I forget people and they get all butthurt and shit. I think I covered everybody, huh? Right? Well, you forgot my sexy and my family. I'm <laughs> always saying, I'm always saying, Rich, I know, I know. I'm always saying, my boy, my, you know what? Rich is sexy makes me some bomb ass chocolate cakes. Mm. I swear to God, I'll be greedy. I'll be greedy. I'll be like, okay, uh, can we keep it on the deal, Sunchi? Because I don't want nobody to know you. She came to my house, and she made two. She made two. I said, damn, girl, I don't want that many. She said, no, this one's for you, and this one we are going to kill. I said, okay, I appreciate that, little. I, pre I appreciate that, sister, because I'm going to hide this one. And I did. I hid it, and I tore that up by myself, and I'm supposed to be on a diet. So all good. My Mexican Nate dog's wife, Sochi, the kids, his kids, and my... Nieces and nephews, straight up. So check this out, homies. You fools got any questions to ask, ask. This is the Toker Show, episode one. I'm doing it on Facebook because I want to see questions so we can give out answers. But the next shows, we're going straight to the Brownside channel on YouTube. Unless you fools want a different, we do it different. Hutch, from above the law, he'll be sitting there. Little E. My brother Easy Son, my nephew, he'll be sitting there. All the Ruthless family, like Cocaine, Naki, uh, B, uh, uh, BG Knockout, uh, even Bones, Lazy Bones. Me and Lazy are cool. Me and Lazy Bones are cool. They be sitting there. 
Benzo, I know you fools want to see sexy ass. Ah, my little sister Benzo, she'll be sitting there. Everybody will be sitting there. This is the Toka Show. You ask us whatever the fuck you want to ask us. And my niece, Shandi Guardado, and my other niece. The home girl. Come on, girl. I didn't, never, never. And I'm sorry. And you're right, baby girl. You're right. Shandi Guardado, who's been putting us Shandy. on the mat. Huh? Shandi. Shandy. Shandy, yeah. Shandy Guardado. Uh, Billy the Kid. My little brother, Billy the Kid. That's right. Billy the Kid. Camilo Cedillo. My little brother, Billy the Kid. I named him Billy the Kid because I just named everybody. Snoopy. My right hand man, Lokes, Snoopy. Man. Snoopy Log hooked me up with Rich. He says, Tokes, you back now? I says, Yeah, dog, fuck Find it, I'm coming back. He homie. says, Yo, <laughs> I'm gonna find Rich for you. I was like, Damn, serious, you think? Shit. What do you think he's doing? I don't know, but I'm gonna find Rich for you. I'm like, Man, hunting. find my Mexican Nate dog. Motherfucking Snoop found Rich, and here we are. That's right. So, nothing but love to Sandra Casares, Shandy Guardado, uh, uh, Demira, what's my niece's name? Uh, Roxanne Demira. Uh, like I said, Billy the Kid, Snoopy Loke. That's right. Uh, give me some more, doggy. Give me some more. Some more, man. Uh, we, got our, we, got, we got our boy, uh, uh, Jose Carvajal, también, eh? Uh, little Woods. Oh, little, little, little motherfucking Woods. Boy, little man. Woods, man. Uh, motherfucking Tony G. Tony motherfucking G. Yeah, Tony motherfucking G. Not Tony original G. 1580K Day, 92.3 The Beat. Because when I say my OG homie Tony G, I'm talking about my producer, Big Homie. I call him my Big Homie. But when I say Tony motherfucking G, that's a little crazy motherfucker I met. And I took a liking to his ass. A crazy motherfucker right there. I'm going to make him cut that Jerry curl off one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get him fucked up. I'm going to get him fucked up. I'm going to make sure he sleep or he's going to wake up bald head. Give you my word. <laughs> Give you my word. Who else, dog? Uh, Sergio, Ruthless ruthless Propaganda. Sergio, that's my brother from another mother. No, shout out to everybody. And if I forgot anybody, Spansa, nothing but love. All my brown siders, nothing but love. Hit me with some questions, doggies. Personal, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. My Mexican Nate dog's here. Barrio Chronicles, the Rich G Show. Barrio Chronicles is dropping Feb 9th. That's right. And that same day, that one of his new videos is dropping. The same day. I'm going to tell you, man. Today is the first day Rich heard his shit. Today was the first day he heard his shit. Because I'm leery about letting people take this. I, I'm leery about that shit. Even so, the writers? <laughs> check this out. So we drove like two hours away. And he was like, Tokes, man, we going to bump it? I said, hell yeah, we going to bump it. Man, full blast. We were in the motherfucking truck. He was like, damn, homie. Damn. I said, yeah, doggy. That's you. You did it right, homie. That's you. He says, oh, yeah, I forget. Right. I forget. That shit is banging, homie. I give you fools my word, man. I give you fools my word. And yes, we are going to have hard copies. We're going to have hard copies. A week or the same week or a week after his shit drops, we're having hard copies. And I give you my word. If you don't like it, return it back. Yeah, after you recorded it and after you clone it, <laughs> return it back. If you don't like it. This one I'm proud of, man. My boy, my Mexican Nick dog, Rich G. Paid his dues a long time ago, man. And this shit is... Uh, it's an instant classic. He puts it down like Bobby Brown with no Whitney Houston, doggy. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Ask me a question. Do you ever come to Arizona? Man, what happened? What the fuck? You tripping? Do you ever come to Arizona, big dog? You know what? I used to go through Nogales. That's Nogales over there? Is that Nogales over there? Yeah. Yeah, I used to, I used to cross through that border over there, Nogales. But I got into some shit over there, so I stopped. I, but yeah, we used to roll through. I got a lot of family in Arizona. 
I got a bunch of nieces and nephews that I don't even know, man, but I know they're my nieces and nephews. I got a, all my cousins moved out there. All my tia, my, my one tia and all six cousins, females, and a couple, uh, man, they got a bunch of kids born in Arizona and everything, man. I used to go over there a lot, but it's hot as a motherfucker. Arizona is hot. I don't even go to Mexicali when they call me out there. Hey, uh, compa, come fuck you. I ain't going to Mexicali. That's hell. If you fools ever want to go to hell, if you fools ever want to know what hell feels like, go to Mexicali in the summertime or go to Arizona in the summertime. In Arizona, you be seeing lizards run across the street or you be seeing lizards running uh, down the street with little fucking sticks in their hands and then they drop them on the floor and they jump on them. Oh, shit be so hot. Fucking little lizard be on the stick like, damn. Man, the first time I ever drove out there, I seen little baby lizards running across, running down the street or sidewalk, whatever, with little sticks above their heads. And I was like, what the fuck is that? They said, man, it's so motherfucking hot. Lizards running around with sticks over their head. And when they stop, they drop them and they jump on them. That shit is hot, man. I hate the summertime. What about, uh, what about, are we coming out there? East Town Records, we coming out there? He says, What's, uh, when's your book coming out? You know what? I'm working on my book, doggy. It's going to be some gangster shit. As a matter of fact, what I wrote right now is in my attorney's hands. Not my music attorney, my criminal attorney. He's got to make sure I don't go. He, he got to make sure I don't incriminate myself because my shit is raw. My shit is raw. My shit is raw. I ain't holding nothing back. He called me like, oh, I need to talk to you, man. You need to come in. I'm like, what? Mm, I'm going to fax you some stuff that we can't put here. We can't put it in the book. I'm going to fax you some stuff. I'm like, okay. I wait for the fax to be zzz, one paper, zzz, two, zzz, three, zzz, four. Zzz. I'm calling him, hey, fool, you sure your, your, your machine ain't stuck over there? It didn't break? He says, no, why? I said, man, I got like 20 motherfucking pages already. He says, no, I'll wait for 20 more. I'm like, come on, man. He says, come on, man, you fucking stupid. I'm like, damn, man. So I'm going through that shit right now. I'm trying to clean my shit up a little bit. Much love from Newcastle, Delaware. 302, nothing but love out there. Ask me some questions for me and my boy Rich. Nothing but love to all my brown siders. Rich, Rich G, what's your favorite song on your... Oh, that's a good question. Who is this? Robert Estrada. That's a good question. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Robert Estrada is asking, Rich G, what's your favorite song on your album? I want to know oh, that. Man. I want to oh, know man. if you ever smoke... So, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I want to know, doggy. If I, you know, if I gotta pick one, what comes to mind, because it's got so much history, is uh, Gangster Life in the City, man. Because that's love, man. That's what me and Togs hooked up back in the days when we did all this. Do or die, right? So, hey. Uh, it's got, I got a lot, a, lot, a lot of emotions tied up in that shit. And for the homies and homegirls, you know what's up. Hey. That's what it's about. Speaking, he just gave you his answer, Gangster Life in the City, which was the original, what was it, Do or Die? Do or Die. Okay. I fucked up, I fucked up, and I apologize, but I did fuck up, I was so in a hurry trying to release the video, but at the end of that video, I wanted to dedicate it to my homie Danger, rest yeah. in peace, big Danger, Yeah. because uh, it's got a lot of emotion to if him. you ask me, him and Big Rich made that song famous, and that put us on the map, so I figure I would uh, honor him. And use some of his lyrics. I drive around with big straps. I like to bust caps. Make money. Hit the coochie. And bomb ass raps. I be in L.A. Like a motherfucking nut. Fools want to kill me. And bitches want to give up the coochie. So check this out. I, I, figure, I, I figure I would honor him with that. But I fucked up. And I should have dedicated it to him at the end of the video. And I highly apologize. But I always wanted to get that straight, man, because a lot of people says, hey, man, you should have dedicated. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I messed up, man. That's why I take my time doing stuff now. We took our time doing his album, man. That's right. Instant, instant, instant classic. Straight up. Boy, Tog stepped up and did it right. And not, did it right. look, my producers on that album, my mix, my... Uh, Joaquin the Doc Lopez. Doc. The production on that album, the lyrics, the music, how that album was done. Fucking perfect, man. Perfect. I'll stand behind that. Whoever don't like it. The only ones who ain't gonna like it are my haters. But don't trip my haters because I'm gonna throw you 
Ain't nothing but a hater party. Party. Ain't nothing but a hater party. I'm going to throw all you motherfucking haters a party, man. Don't trip all food, all pisto, and I might get you food some hookers. It's all going to be on me. I want to shake all my haters' hand. What's up, dog? You a hater? Yeah, homie, fuck you. I got skinny jeans on. Check me out. I keep out a skinny jeans gang, puto. It's okay, homie. It's okay. I just want to meet you, my hater. Como estas, motherfucking hater? Yeah, what's up? Huh? What's up, fool? Yeah, what's up? I go, yeah, I made you jump, huh, puto? What's up? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to shake all my haters' hands. I want to just be walking by the haters. What's up, hater? Yeah, what's up? What's up, hater? You hating on this? It toast? Yeah, but the fuck you. Ah! Ah! What's wrong? My skinny jeans on so tight, squeezing my little balls. But yeah, homie, I got skinny jeans on and I'm a hater. Fuck you. I'm going to throw a hater party, homies. Don't even trip. This is the Toker Show. This is first episode. Motherfucking Toker Show. Big shout out to all my brown siders. Give me another question. Rich. Rich G from Ani Salo. Rich G going to do with anyone. Brown side click. Damn, I don't understand. Rich G going to do a banger with me. One one one. Brown side click. Um, Are we gonna do jabs with him? We're gonna do a song with him, right? With who? Are we gonna do a banging song with one of the brown side click? Is that what he's saying? Ani Solo, ask that question again. No disrespect. Just take your time and type it, and I'm gonna answer your questions. I want to answer everybody's questions. Ah, we don't really get it. Retype it again, my Ani Salo. I did one with Carlos Cruz, do you ever plan to hit the 775? Where, 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 where is that at, doggy? Let us know where the 775 is at. No disrespect. No disrespect, because I got about a million area codes right here. <laughs> Let us know, because I think they, we need a phone book. worldwide, we need worldwide, phone book. Rich G, how, how was the expense? experience of you working with easy oh man that's a good question you know what? how's your experience working with easy hanging with easy or just was, knowing was easy surreal when the first day he came through it was tony g this is before i met you tokes he came through to the g spot and it was just surreal to me man you know being a fan of his hey we were starstruck like a motherfucker oh, huh man we were starstruck like a motherfucker I, but i was faking I was faking. I, I was kept a G. I couldn't. I couldn't. And, and just shortly after is when I met Big Tokes. Man, it was just it was amazing because, uh, like I said, I was a big fan. I knew what was up. And when he was down with us, he said, "I want you." He goes, "I like what you're doing. We're gonna we're gonna work on a deal for you." I said, "Oh man, I just I almost fell out, homie." Easy, show the Rasa love you know like what? a motherfucker. Easy was good to me, man. He always <clears throat> took care of me, man. And we had love for Easy. Because he had love for us, man. He didn't give a shit what was up, what was this, what was that. He had love. And he believed in what we were doing. That's why we still got love for Easy. And he's still reaching down from heaven and taking care of us now. Hey, Easy, and I'll always say this, was the first motherfucker lacing that say up. The first motherfucker fucking with Chicanos, Mexicans, whatever you want to call us. That's right. I, I got a lot too. of love for that fool. I used to roll around with, I used to roll around with him in his car. And he used to be like, man, these motherfuckers hating on me because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to blow you fools up. And I'm like, what? He's just some of my people fucking hating on me, talking shit, talking about yo, hit him with the N word. Yo, man, fuck you doing? And is you crazy? Fuck, fuck them motherfuckers, man. Fuck you letting them in for. But my my boy E would always say, fuck these fools, man. These motherfuckers ain't even looking at the future. Them motherfuckers don't even know what's coming, man. Fuck them fools. I'm going to show these motherfuckers what's up. I'll be like, damn, E, you catching the dope, man. Just, I don't give a fuck. That's why I got a lot of love for that fool, his family, everybody, man. First motherfucker give Mexicans, Chicanos, the brown a break. First one was going to let us in. It had just the juice. Let us it had in. the juice. And he had his own record company. Nobody could juice. tell him what the fuck to do. That's that right. fool was running his own program, man. Shh. I'm, I'm, I'm letting... I'm, Letting fucking a bunch of good questions go, man. Richie, what, what made you want to do music from Terry Dominguez? What made you want to do music? Oh, man, I can answer that because he shot me his bio. But go ahead, doggy. Watching my stepfather, whose name Rich Garcia, I took his name. Watching him learn how to play the guitar back at City Terrace. He bought him and my mom bought me my first guitar when I was three years old. 
And, uh, you know, he used to have jam sessions when we moved to El Sereno. He used to have jam sessions with the homies from the hood and guys that could play. They would come in and they would get down and they would let me sit there and hit a bucket. And I started learning about music and all these. And then my dad had an extensive record collection that he built up over the years. And when I was in El Sereno, I had a little record player right in there. And he was like, hey, you can listen to my records, homie? Or, son, you can listen to my records? You fuck them up, I'm going to smack you upside your head. I didn't fuck any of those records up, but I listened to all of them. And that's how I became interested in music. But I didn't, I didn't become interested in singing because I was 10 or 11 years old. I wanted to try to sing a little bit, you know. And I thought I was whack until the homies told me, hey, homie, get down. When we were doo-wopping on the corner, holding the block down. And it's history from there, homie. There's a lot more to it. You're going to have to check it out <laughs> on my bio or something because it's, it's a long story. I don't want to take Ooh, the time. Ooh, it's going down. It's going down. Some here, it's going up? down, baby. You want to swig on Are you going to let me in? You going to let me now? You, you, come on. Gracias. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying, I don't want you to get all twisted, though. Honey. I want to get twisted. Don't nah, but then you'll be answering questions like this. Oh, I'm good. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I've been drinking. How am I drinking this um, shit? Hey, come on I, now. Uh, I, uh... Um, uh, oh, I, yeah, yeah, well, hey, fuck, hey, I just grabbed the mic. You see, my boy looks out for me, homie. I my just boy, grabbed, my I, boy, hey, Big my boy Rich. looks out for me. Well, hey, Big Rich, what makes you do music? I grab my fucking mic. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, I, hey, folks just don't want to pick me up if I fall face I, 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 in hey, the man cave. I'm going to let him get tipsy. <laughs> I'm going to let him get tipsy, but I'm not letting him get tore up. I'm gonna tell you for the secret. You can have one with me, I'm gonna tell you no? for the secret. This fool's been chucking since about two hours ago. Come on. Hey, Barrio Chronicles, Rich G, my Mexican Nate Dog. We gonna bump some shit right now. My brother from another mother. I give you fools my motherfucking word. His shit's a banger, man. Gangster baby. No, gangster. What I say, gangster baby making, making music. music yeah. Gangster baby making music from an OG yeah, to right. all you OGs, all you young Gs, all you Gisettes, all you cuties, fools, foolias, all our brown siders, and this is even gonna touch other, other, other races. This is right. gonna touch. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, homie. Key zero. sweat. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> Motherfucking Art Kelly, peeing on little girls, sit the fuck down. My Mexican Nate Dog Rich G is here, homies. My, I'm saying, homie, I, should, I say what I want to say, dog. This is my show. This is my show, homie. Shit, come on, dog. I ain't saying Just take what? I'm good, homie. You ain't saying shit. I'm saying it. One more time, dog. I'm good, I'm good, homie. God damn. That's good. Ooh, it tastes like sugar. God damn. But I was shooting tequila earlier, but I'm going to mix it up. Ugh. Damn. Who are you fucking with that? I'm cutting you off now, homie. I'm cutting you off. Now you got to talk. Oh, you. Oh, you little kid. Oh, you little kid. Damn. Shit. Everybody under 21, don't mess. This is poison. Yeah. This is some. This is some fire water. That's what my. That's what my. Uh. Uh. I don't want to say Indians. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to disrespect all my. Uh, what, what, Native American. All my Native Americans. Our human brothers. And all, sisters. all my Native Ameri All, all my brothers. All of them. They said all the ones I know. They say, hey, toast man. That's some fire water. That's what I. That's where I got it from. That's where I got it from. All my Native Americans. All of them. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Columbus. Up, Columbus man. discovered America. Bull fucking shit, Columbus. <laughs> Fuck you. I wish I could go back in them times back so I could just be waiting for you right there to get off the boat. Me and my natives, boy, just waiting <laughs> for you. I wish I could, I wish I had a time machine where I could go back in time and just wait for motherfucking. What's the name again? I forgot. Uh, Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. I wish me and my natives be right there. Right there waiting for his ass to get off the boat. As soon as he get off the boat and touch the ground. What's up? Uh, I'm discover, I discover America. Homie, shut the fuck up. You discover America. This is theirs, fool. This is theirs, man. And if you go a little further, that's our shit. That's the Mayans. That's the Mexicas. That's right. You didn't discover shit, man. 
And then I just, let's get this motherfucker whipping. Well, man, we'll whip his ass. We'll send his motherfucking ass back to, where was he from? Spain. Send his bitch ass back to Spain. No, no, was it, was it Italy? Where, whatever, Spain. Italy, Spain, wherever the fuck that motherfucker was from. Christopher Columbus. Yeah. I'll be like, homie, you didn't discover shit. You're going to discover ass whipping, motherfucker. That's just me, homies. Ask us another question. Chuck, Chuck Core, Chuck C-O-R, to each his own, my brother, to each his own. I won't even disrespect you, man, because I'm trying to have a good day. But you know what? Since you keeping it real, with a lot of respect, little brother, nothing but love, man. Nothing but love. I might invite you to that party. But you keeping it real, you keeping it with a lot of respect, man. It's all good. All good, my brother. To each his own. Can't expect Shit. everybody to be down. Yeah, to each his own. But but motherfuckers like you with that respect right there, I got to give you That's nothing but love to homie. That's should be, homie. Hell yeah. You That's know what? what? do. Chuck Core, Chuck C-O-R, all you motherfuckers that hate, all you haters, you should keep it with respect. Like this fool just did. Makes me feel good, man. Makes me feel good to get at a fool like that or he's checking out our page. Man, that's what a mother... That's, that's a man right there. Keeping it real. That's real shit. That's a that's man right shit. there, homies. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. As the Tokes, take his hat off to you, motherfucker. Straight up. That's real, homie. Brown sign like Canton. Hell yeah, Sebastian. Cadillo. Hell yeah. Come on, give me some more. Give me some more questions, homies. Give me some more questions. Ask Tokes. Ask Rich. Rich is the man of the hour. Barrio Chronicles. Ask me a question, because I'm going to let him answer the question as I go get his motherfucking banger and put it in my sound system. How many tracks, man? Spooky Crew said, how many tracks? You know what? Let me answer that. Thirteen and a half. It's thirteen and a half. It's thirteen tracks with one bonus track. But I guess the record company told us, no, you have to number them. I'm like, hmm. 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 So, 13 and a half. All right? 13 and a half. All bangers. When you put it in your sound system or in your goddamn, I, whatever the hell, computerized bullshit, I don't even know. All I know is about cassettes and eight tracks. But when you listen to it from the intro to the last song, homie, I guarantee you, you won't want to fast forward. You won't want to fast forward nothing. Thirteen and a half tracks. Next question. Ask me a good question because I'm going to let him answer it. I got to go get his banger. <clears throat> Rich G from Mark Villanueva. Are you dropping more albums? Oh, yeah. I'm still writing, I'm still writing songs right now. Homie, as we speak, man. I'm still writing jams. I got to take these off. Yeah, I'm still writing songs right now for the next one already, man. So, yeah, be looking out for that, man. But right now, this is what we're concentrating on. But uh, we're going to come out with some more stuff. I got all kinds of stuff in my big head, homie. Let's see what's up. Alfredo Martinez, how did Richie come out with the name of the album? Or are you big tokes gonna respect homie yeah respect to you big dog um you know what we were just we were going live one day and it just popped up to me you know rich g show i wanted it to be like johnny carson but chicano style you know what i'm saying this is my show and it's been a lot of years in the making homie and i said barrio chronicles because we're talking about stories we did this from the live. barrio that that we lived or the homies have lived that we know of that's true real stuff so that's how we came up with that, homie. We did this shit on live. I said, what are we going to call it? He says, Barrio Chronicles. I said, you're the man, homie. You're the man. Let me see one more question. Oh, I'm not even going to go there. Hell no. No, no, no. I don't want to get, I don't want to start tripping. <laughs> Both uh, from Aldo Estrada, both. Rich G and Toker, how do you feel about rappers 
that don't give the credit and respect to easy. You know what? To each his own, man. And it all depends on who it is. It all depends on who it is because some of us know. I'm looking for his cut. I'm looking for his shit. Some of us know uh, the originator of all this shit. The West Coast. I'm talking about the West Coast. The originator of West Coast gangster rap, in my eyes, Ice T came out, whatever, whatever. Because uh, I seen some comments I hear on some dude that was kicking us some cool knowledge. Ice T, uh, six in the morning, who does that my door? Uh, and somebody else, I can't think of a name. But in my eyes, not only because I was fucking with him, not only because I was fucking with him, in my eyes, Easy E is the originator, and Easy E is the one who made the West Coast pop on gangster rap. He's the one that brought it to the West Coast, and he's the one that put the West Coast, not only Compton on the map, he's the one that put the West Coast on the map. A lot of people said Easy e wasn't shit, he didn't write his own songs, bullshit, man. You heard what he did with motherfucking, real motherfucking G's, he killed that shit. Everybody says Ice Cube was a talent, Dr. Dre was the talent. I'm going to tell you something right now. My boy Tony G, the original Tony G, and I'm saying it because he's too humble to say it, but he'll fuck Dr. Dre up on making beats. I know some shit behind closed doors, but I can't put it all out in the open, but I know some shit behind closed doors so that has right. to do with Tony G and Dr. Dre. So I know right. somebody be calling Doc, my boy Tony G all the time, talking about, come on, man. Come on, man. Come take over my studio, man. I'll give you blank checks. You can put whatever number you want on, man. Come on, man. I know some shit you motherfuckers don't know. My boy Tony G, that's the originator that has to do with the Chicano rap. Tony G, man, my boy, my original, my big homie Tony G from 1580 KJ 92.3 right. The Beat, that's the originator. And because of my boy Tony G, he's Cuban. Because of my boy Tony G, Chicano rap is on the motherfucking map. That's right. And that's no motherfucking doubt. You talking about other motherfuckers? Fuck that. I was there. He was there. That's... We were there. Witnesses. Homie, we in here. We, still, we were still alive when dinosaurs was walking around this motherfucker, <laughs> homie. We were still alive when dinosaurs and the caveman was beating bitches over the head with the goddamn... Uh, what would you call them? Clubs. Clubs. We're clubbing bitches. Caveman drive-by. Yeah, yeah, man, we know what's cracking, homies. You're talking to two OGs, man. So anyways, what the fuck was the question? Easy e and my eyes is the originator of West Coast rap. I don't give a fuck how you slice it. Rafael Pelonsky's like Sleepy, doing his thing, clown, palillo, my compa tricks. Their little brother, it's my compa. I baptize his son, Blue. Does that's always be? They'll always be my family, homie. Their mom and dad, Rafael Pelonskis, their mom and dad, I consider them my mom and dad. We grew up. They fucking mold us. They school us. They fed us. They used to feed me. They used to take me in when I, when I was out there on the block messing up. Their mom and their dad are like my mom and dad. Sleepy Clown Palillo, the sister, Trix. Trix is my compadre, homie. I baptized my little godson, Blue. That's my family, Pelonskis. Damn, doggy. I hope I didn't leave the goddamn CD somewhere. They're already cloning this shit, dog. Oh, here we go. This here we go. Here, here we go, doggy. Yeah, it's going motherfucking down. Ah, uh, give me another question. Joey Lee says, are you going to do any tracks with CNG? The real Mr. Homicide or Soldier Looks? Check this out, homies. Ain't no telling who I'm going to do tracks with. Future-wise, when I'm done with my clica, ain't no telling who I'm going to do shit with. But the real Homicide, that's a cool-ass kid. He's getting his grind on. I kind of schooled him a little bit on the phone. I gave him my two cents. Told him, little homie, watch yourself and watch this and watch that, little homie. I like you, fool. Do your thing. Uh, CNG, you know who CNG is? 
I don't want to disrespect, but I don't know. And uh, Soldier Lokes, Spencer, homie, I don't know who that is. My respects to them, whoever they are, if you're bringing them up, but I don't know who they are, dog. Aldo Estrada. That's what I, that's what I meant. Some careers are where the where they are, cause of easy. And it's sad that they don't give him the credit. Gracias for answering. All good, Aldo. All good, homie. Edgar Gomez. I don't know, man. I think that question's for the man upstairs. Ah. Uh, one of my cars was involved in some crazy shit that happened. So, uh, they couldn't find, you know, I guess, who they were looking for. And uh, since I was the owner of the car, they scooped me up, thinking I was going to talk or whatever. And uh, that's the toast is loyal, man. Loyalty is my number one, man. So I guess they figured they had it sewed up because they caught the owner of the car. And the owner of the car was on top of the world at the time when they caught me, when they arrested me. Uh, Easy e call Harlan Braun. Check out Harlan Braun. Harlan Braun ain't going to defend you unless you're... He's a Harlan Braun's a media whore. If you don't attract the media, he won't defend you. You got to be somebody important. Harlan Braun is the motherfucker who got... Officer Brezeno for beating up on Rodney King, the, 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 the Chicano vato, Officer Brezeno, Harlan Brown. Well, was he Chicano? No, I'll just say Latino. I don't even think he was Chicano. I, I don't want to disrespect. Harlan Braun is the attorney who got Officer Brezeno off. And uh, he's been doing nothing but celebrity cases lately. Easy he called him. Yo, Harlan, uh, you need to go to court, man, and represent my boy Tokes. And he's like, well, what the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? I mean, don't worry about it, man. Go to court and represent him. I need you to get him out on bail. All of a sudden, big time ass Harlan Brown. He walked in the courtroom. It smelled like millions of dollars. He walked in the courtroom. Motherfucker was like, it smelled like millions of dollars in here. Motherfucking Harlan Brown. And I still remember the judge saying, sir, can I shake your hand? Harlan Brown says, huh? Sir, can I shake your hand? The judge was kissing his ass. Harlan Brown represented me, got me out on bail, and then after that, he told Easy, man, I'm not fucking with Toker. Toker ain't a big enough celebrity for me. I'm, I'm going to have to let him go. Easy said, I don't give a fuck. You got him out on bail. You can go now. So he introduced me to another celebrity attorney, Daniel Davis, Daniel G. Davis. They made a movie about his life. Because he ended Ira Reiner's career, the deputy DA from, man, I'm, man, I, man, I'm, in, his, I'm in the history books, homies. I'm in the motherfucking history books. Million dollar attorneys charged me an arm and a leg and they wanted my first kid and, and second born and everything. They charged me an arm and a leg. So I paid them. Took me to court. They did my thing. They railroaded me. Verdict came out guilty. Esther Tokes ain't telling on nobody. Esther Tokes took it to trial. Found me guilty. Everybody was like, what the fuck? What? The bailiff that was there, she went over to my cell when she locked me up and she says, call me by my last name, Mr. Da Da Da, do not let this happen. I've been listening to your case for months now. Oh my God, they did you wrong. You make sure your attorney appeal this. They will overturn this. They just, oh my God, they did you wrong. Everybody, all the DAs. In this, in this county, I won't say what county it was, all the DAs in this county and all the public defenders had bet. They betted on who was going to win the case, the DA or your attorney, and they all thought they had it won. But they railroaded you. Make sure your attorney appealed this case because it's bullshit what they did to you. This is the bailiff. The bailiff, the female bailiff that's there standing next to the judge, make sure nobody runs up on the judge. This is people like that. So my attorney appealed the shit. Three years later, they overturned my conviction. The high courts wrote me a letter. I'm going to show you fools that letter because I got my, I lost it. When they raided my cell, we got into some shit. The yard, it was locked down. Whatever, they raided our cells. They threw everything away, wetted all our paperwork. But I got it, my attorney. My attorney said, no, I can get you another letter from the... Yeah, the same one. Get it for me. I want to frame it, and I want to show it to my people on motherfucking Facebook. Let them know I'm the real deal. Holy That's fear, right. homies. That's what happened, doggies. Hope I answer your question. Give me another question. Mr. 
Berta Jaramillo, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Alicia Mayers, the real Mr. Homicide, that's my baby. All good, Alicia Mayers, all good, that's my little homie. Aaron A. Espinosa, hola, saludos, saludos a ti también, homie. Dr. Real. This ain't Dr. Phil, homie. This is Dr. Real, homie. Right. You fools already know, homie. Dr. Real. It's a toast. Keep it real. Real recognize real. Dr. Real. Here goes one. Uh, Eric Urutia. Urutia. Something like that. I hope I didn't mess your name up. Do you jam to SPM? Would you work with him or anyone in Dope House? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't even know who that is. No disrespect, man. I don't want to disrespect, but I, I can't even answer that question, man. Next question. What do you think about Jerry Heller? Jerry Heller was my boy, man. Me and Jerry Heller were cool, man. I have nothing bad to say about Jerry Heller. I have nothing bad to say about Jerry Heller. A lot of people have shit to talk about Jerry Heller, but if it wasn't for Jerry Heller, and listen to what I'm going to say, if it wasn't for Jerry Heller... It wouldn't be no MWA. Right. If it wasn't for Jerry Heller, now you can say he was a thief, you can say he was doing this, you can say I know him personally and I know the rundown. I know the rundown. I was there when Easy E and him had it out and I know why that happened. And I used to tell Easy, damn doggy, you better wake up, homie. You just I know you can do this, whatever, whatever. But I hey homie, you sure you wanna do this? I was there, I know the get down, homie. Motherfuckers wanna keep me quiet. But I might just drop that shit in my book. Jerry Heller, in my book, he's good. And if it wasn't for Jerry Heller, you wouldn't have no Dr. Dre, no Cube, no MWA. That's all I got to say, homie. Next motherfucking question. Edgar Gomez, glad you got out, big homie. Much love to all the brown side. Muchas gracias, doggy. All good, man. All right, all right. I'll, I'll peep it out. Horacio Reyes. Robert Herrera. I, I don't even want to get into it, doggy. I don't even want to get into it, but yeah, they had a fallout. But, uh... Mm, you know how sometimes you got the devil on one on one shoulder and then you got the angel on the other? You know, the devil was like, kick him out, kick him out. Wait, we can do this, we can do this. The angel's like, hey, you fucking up? You fucking up. No, no, no. Kick him out. Kick him out. We can do this. We can do this. Mm, you better think about it. It was some shit like that cracking. That's all I can say, man. Homie right here. Keep asking the same question. We have to answer. How do we both meet Wicked? Okay, check this out. I met Wicked to, through my little sister, Isabel. I don't know. Back in the days, Wicked wasn't married or nothing. So, Wicked Sexy, if you're watching... I don't mean no harm or nothing, because this is back in the days, okay? And I asked Wicked, I said, hey, homie, did you hit my sister? Did you toss that shit up? He's like, nah, homie, you can tell me, doggy. If you toss my sister up, you can tell me, doggy, my sister ain't for me. I wasn't going to hit that shit. My sister's for other fools, doggy. Did you hit my sister? Nah, dog, nah. I'm thinking, yeah, you did hit my sister, homie. I know you probably tossed that shit up, but it's cool. Anyways, answer your question. My little sister came over the pad one time and says, yo, man, I met this one cat, man. He can rap, man. This fool get busy. And I'm like, eh, whatever, man. She says, no, for reals, for reals. I'm like, all good, all good. She says, anyways, here's this cassette. And I'm like, man, whatever, man. I got the cassette, threw it on the table. And uh, I don't know. You know, uh, destiny is a motherfucker. That's, that's the right word I'm using? Yeah. Destiny? Destiny is a motherfucker, man. I'm at the pad. Got my, my boom box right there. I grabbed this uh, cassette and threw it in. And you know you know how it takes you know you take a double look at shit like Damn, got up, turn that shit up. I was like, God damn. I went outside, Isabel! That's my sister Isabel. Come here, girl. Who the fuck you say this fool was? Wicked. They call him wicked. Serious? Tell this motherfucker's bad, girl. I told you. He wants to meet you. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't trying to meet nobody, but this boy right here, bad. So the very next day, man, her ass just brought his ass over to my mom's house. The very next day, and my boy Danger, rest in peace, he was there. My boy Danger didn't like nobody. 
My Danger, my boy Danger will fuck you up. My boy Danger was 6'4", only 17 years old, 6'4", long ass hands. I seen him throw nine, he would just knock motherfuckers out. My boy Danger, boy, he was dangerous, man. Uh, my boy Danger didn't like nobody. Right away, you ain't from the hood, he run up on you. What's up, it's where you from? Beep, 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 beep. I'm like, damn, homie, leave him alone, dog. That's my primo. Oh, man, you knocked him out. Damn, man, so that's fucked up, homie. What the fuck? That fool was with it. If he wasn't the homie from the hood and he didn't know who the fuck you are, he didn't give a fuck. They're, they're, what's up? What's up, homie? Where you from? Man? Beep, beep, beep. Damn, dog. That's my other cousin, homie. Laying on top of the first one. God damn, dog. Oh, man, fuck, man. Hey, homie, somebody take this fool to the backyard, homie. You gonna knock all my cousins out. That motherfucking danger was with it, man. So wicked came. And I was like, oh, shit, it's going down. Motherfucking danger looked at wicked and said, what's up, dog? We could sit with his Mexican berry white voice. What's up, Bessie? <laughs> Danger says, You smoke, fool? She said, Hell yeah. Kyle, homie, I was like, What the fuck? You know, Destiny is a motherfucker, man. Is that, is that the right word? Destiny. Destiny? Boy, that's all I think of. Hey, he says, You smoke, fool? I thought he was talking about fool. You smoke? You want to go smoke, motherfuckers? Homie says, Yeah. Skyle, homie. Went to the backyard, the garage, I fixed it into a man cave. I had a bunch of machines. I had uh, uh, Mrs. Pac-Man. I had uh, Asteroids. I had Cool Pool. I had a bunch of machines in the garage, man, and they were back there puffing. And I looked through the window. I'm like, man, this fool probably fucking him up. Damn, what the fuck? He was just puffing with that fool, and it tripped me the fuck out because Danger wouldn't give nobody a break. And I guess they were back there bumping their shit, or I don't know what the fuck happened. When Wicked left, Danger says, hey, fool. I like that fool. I was like, what the fuck? He says, I like that fool, homie. On our next motherfucking gig, we should feature that fool. I was like, all right, dog. I was all right. You got to remember, Danger was the one that told me, nah, man, I don't want easy on our shit. Fuck that, homie. I don't want that fool on our shit. Danger. Big Danger told me, I don't want that sh I don't want him on our shit. Danger was a G. And he handpicked and he told me he he liked Wicked. We should feature him on our next album. I was like, feed man. To make a long story short, Danger passed away. The album wasn't done yet. And since my boy gave him the green light and took a liking to him, I says, yo, dog, you want to get down? He's like, damn, that's it for reals? I says, yeah, fool, because my homie handpicked you, homie. And you just don't know what that means, dawg. He's like, yeah, I'll get down. That's how I met my brother Wicked. Next motherfucking question. And I met him at the G-spot when we talk about him down. So. Luis Alberto Nunez, que pinche pedo traes, homie? Saludos pa' Beto Cholo, fool. Un pinche saludos al pinche Beto Cholo. Uh, pinche Luis Alberto Núñez, un pinche saludo al Beto Cholo, homies. Un pinche saludote al pinche Beto Cholo, homies. Porque dice que el toque puro bla, 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 y puro bla, bla, bla. Este es mi show, carnal. Es mi show. Es el toque sure. show. Yo puedo bla, bla, bla por dos, tres horas hasta que se me muera la pinche batería del teléfono. Por eso se llama The Toker Show, homie. <laughs> Do you have any unreleased tracks of Danger? You know what? I think there's a few. I have some old ass reels. Some old ass reels put up. I'm going to go through them. Or if something happens to me, I'll have little tokes go through them. But you know what? Through the grapevine, there's a few easy e tracks. And I think there's some Danger music out there, man. But hey, it is what it is. All in time. Travieso Loco, do you still speak to Trouble? You know what, homie? Trouble, I don't, I don't, I can't even speak up on them, dog. Like I used to tell you, homies, when you used to ask me questions about Wicked, you got to ask Wicked. I lost contact with Trouble and Trouble's people, man. Uh, long story short, I lost contact with him, dog. Uh, I don't wish nobody, I don't wish nobody no life sentence. I don't wish nobody none of that shit, homie. So I'm hoping the homie comes home sooner than later, man. I don't wish nobody that shit. I got a little brother doing life lazy. He's been down for 26 years, man. 
I don't wish this shit upon nobody, but I lost all contact with him and his people, homie. Luis de, de Serna. <laughs> Un saludo, homie. Me voy a chingar una pinche hamburguesa allá en Monsters Burgers. How did you and Conejo meet? Chente Loco. Is it Chente Loco? Yeah, Chente Loco. How did me and Conejo meet? You fools already know, man. When you know about a legend, motherfuckers know about legends. You know that. When you roam in the streets, and you're just a bad motherfucker on the streets, and you're from the same side of town, South Central to the West Side, motherfuckers know each other. Motherfuckers know about motherfuckers, man. So, legends meet legends. Legends fuck around and somehow, some way, bump heads one day, and like, what's up, fool? What's up, that's it? What's cracking, homie? That's how it happened, homie. When you're a legend... You're bound to bump heads with no motherfucking other legend. So, Big Rams, man. I light a candle for that fool. Every time my candle goes out, I light a candle for that fool because I want him home sooner than later, man. C-O-N needs to be home. He should have been home. He should have been home. You know how the Hudas do it. When they can't find a motherfucker, they try to stick any motherfucker on a bogus ass case. He'll be home, man. I told you fools before. He'll be home, man. He will be home. I thought he was coming home last year. But C-O-N will be home, man. We need motherfuckers like Onejo on the streets. We need fools like Onejo on the streets. We, re we need real G's on the streets to tell stories. Because I want to listen to stories that he has to talk about. I want to listen to his shit. He'll be coming home, man. Trust me when I tell you that. Pete, Pete, Pete De Los Reyes. I never said I didn't like Kid Frost. Or oh, maybe I did, huh? Damn. Okay. Hey, homies. Damn, fucking fun almost fell. Hey, uh... Shit, homie, what did he ever do, dog? This is me speaking, not him, because they're boys. He he got in a lot of his shit, or I don't know. I wouldn't say we're boys. Okay, he well. Home, he ain't my homeboy, but we did some shit together. They did, okay, but this is just me. What was that about those names that asked me? This? Well, whoever asked me, why don't I like Frost? I like motherfuckers that put us on the map. I like motherfuckers that represent us. I like fools... That speak up for us. I give you my respect even if you're my enemy. If you speak up for us. Conejo ain't my homie from my hood. Conejo is from West Side Harpies. And I'm from East Side Treses Street, or homie. So, we're two motherfucking G's from different hoods. But I give him that respect because he keeps it real. And he represents us. And he speak up for us. So you tell me what did he do besides dum 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 dum? Yeah, this is for the raza. What did he do besides that? What did he say? What did he do? That's all I'm asking, homies. That's all I'm asking. That wasn't street rap. That wasn't gangster rap. That wasn't representing us. Fu ain't no real G from no hood. I don't. Is he from a hood? He cleans the hood. I mean, I don't want you to talk bad on him or nothing. No, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm asking in good, in, in, in good, uh, in a good way. Is he from a barrio? I guess he is, homie. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's claimed a barrio. I don't remember which barrio he was. Okay. I, I've never even known Frost putting it down. I've never even heard of Frost getting a ticket. I've never even heard like, damn, homie, did you hear what? Damn, message, did you hear what? Homie, did you hear what? I said. Motherfucking Frost got a ticket, fool. I ain't even heard that shit. So I hope I answer your question, doggy. The Michael dude keeps asking me what? 
Because I'm too busy answering and, and I mean, I can't answer everybody. But the Michael dude is asking me what? I'll answer Michael's question. Well, the Michael dude is asking me. The Michael dude keeps asking him. And he hasn't seen it yet. What, what has it been asking me? Ask me, Michael dude, Spencer. I'm going to be looking out for your question. Ask me again. Because I guess it sounds like it's a serious question. Ask me again, Michael dude. Somebody's asking me, what's up with criminal, cuz? I don't know nothing about criminal, homie. I don't know nothing about criminal, homie. Ese, I don't know nothing about criminal, ese. What do you want me to say? Ask me a question about homeboy and I'll answer it. This is the Toka show, homie. I ain't biting my tongue. I said we were going to do an hour, I think. How, how long we been out here, Bago? An hour 20, Tam. I said an hour. <laughs> hey, homies, if you fools want us to cut it short, let's cut it short. I'm, I, I'm going to do what you fools want to do. And the next time around, I guess I'm, I got to go to the uh, YouTube, uh, the Brownside channel. But since I gave you fools my word that you could ask us anything, damn, I hope Michael, I hope my, don't let Michael go, go pass us up. Don't let Michael, because they're talking about the Michael dude keeps asking me a question. Come on, Michael, dude, ask me the question again. I'm looking out for you, man. Pete de, Pete de los Reyes. Orale, so you don't like Frost. That what it is, homie. Yeah, doggy. I mean, to each his own. I mean, you ask good questions. That was a good question, but... You know, it is what it is, dog. I have to respect... I give credit where credit is due. I have a cold story about my homeboy Danger and him, but I'm going to put that shit in my book, man. You guys hear that shit, you guys will be like, God that's damn. True. That's true. I got a cold. You, you know that one, huh? That's true. I got some gangster shit. That's he ran true. into my boy Danger, homie. Whoa. Oh my goodness, homie. I can't even tell you fools what the fuck happened, homie, because I know that motherfucker used to go to sleep. <laughs> hey, that's all I got to say, doggy. I'm still looking for the Michael question, man. Jonathan Perez, I have a question. G, shoot it, homie. Laugh out loud. I told you, you know our. Hey, Patricia Canelo, this is the Toka Show, baby. <laughs> As a matter of fact, homie, let me get the goddamn plug and plug it before this motherfucker died like yesterday. Let me see. Let me give you a question, doggy. Arnold Villa, Villa Cusa, Amado Villa Cusa, just be professional, I say. I'll be. I'll try to be as professional as I can, G. I try. I'll try to be as professional as I can. But if you know me, if you don't know me, my my boy, check up on me. If you don't know me, check up on me. But if I disrespect you, or if you're thinking I'm disrespecting someone, let me know, homie. Because that's the talks don't know at all. But this is my show, homie. This is the Toker show, and this is my Mexican Nate dog, Rich G. And his Vario Chronicles is dropping on the 9th of Feb, homie. And that's why he's my first guest on the Toker Show. I'm going to do the Toker Show on my Brownside channel on YouTube. But I call my boys and they said, nah, doggy, nobody can ask you questions on there. They, the next day or whatever, that's when the questions come up. So since I promised my people that they could ask us whatever the hell they want to ask us, I'm doing it on this shit and I'll just fly it over to uh, my Brownside channel. But I'll keep it professional, but this is the way I keep my shit professional, my boy. So if you think I'm disrespecting you or anybody, let a motherfucker know. Don't just tell me to keep it professional. I speak my mind, homie. That's why it's called the Toker Show, my boy. Que onda, Alejandro? Alon Alvarez, what's my favorite album that I made? I'm going to tell you right now. It's called Eastside Drama, The Takeover, Tres Razones. The Payback, Banging Stories, and uh, Last of a Dying Breed, and uh, My Little G, homie, <laughs> and soon to be Vario Chronicles, homie. That's my favorite album, my boy. Next question. Capone the Tejas. What do I think about Capone the Tejas? You know what? Again. 
again. I don't want to disrespect no one. I might have heard this stuff before, but I really got to kind of pay mind to his stuff. But I heard a homie, a lot of people talk about him, and a lot of people say the vato's with it. I can't really tell you what I think about him because I really haven't really peeped him out. Peeped him out. But a lot of fool says he's with it, so get your feria, Capone, from Texas. Get your feria, my boy. Send my love to, to Rich from Mr. Toro. F the throw to Chavez. That's my motherfucking West Sider right there. Yeah, what's up, homeboy? Yeah, that's my motherfucking West Sider. Man, back at you, homeboy. He's the G. You know who spoke up on him? And if he and if he spoke up on him, then my love to that fool. You know who spoke up on him? Snoopy Lowe. Oh yeah. (laughs) Shit, I don't know that fool, homie, but I feel like I know that fool. Snoopy's up high with us. Yeah, Snoopy. Hey, homie, when remember H uh, Run H Hubbard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run H Hubbard. When he talks, motherfuckers listen. When Snoop talks. We listen. That's right. We're going to go see him in Houston, too, man. You didn't finish the question, Roberto Espinosa. Have you had any songs that you didn't put on the... You didn't finish the question, my boy. And I'm still waiting for that... What? Some vato? Michael. Michael vato? Keep asking me a question and I keep missing it or ignoring it. I don't ignore no questions. Maybe you got I hope it ain't it, it, the, the SPM... I ain't gonna answer no goddamn SPM questions, homie. You don't wanna get me started, dog. You don't wanna get me started, homie. Gracias, Roberto. I'm OG, homie. I know right from wrong. So no, it's, let's not even go there, man. Ivan Martinez, where can we buy your brown side sweaters? Hey, homie, www.brownside13.com. Check us out, my boy. Check us out, homie. Get on the team, homie. Don't be late. We got a comedian right here. I don't understand the question. Damn, I don't even understand that goddamn riddle, man. And Roxanne Demir says we both should make a song for her 21st birthday. <laughs> yeah, we'll make one. Happy birthday, baby. Happy. Who is that? Uh, uh, Stevie Wonder, huh? Yeah. That, he Stevie killed Wonder. that shit, doggy. Stevie Wonder's the man. I don't give a fuck. For her 21st birthday? Yeah. Lady 21, homie. That's the name of that. The new shit with my brother Wicked is coming. That's for Wicked. Yeah. He comes with it. And he comes with it. Are you ready? Well, how many? We, we dropping three. Damn, okay. Goddamn. Serious? Yeah. And next time, we dropping five. I'm like, damn, how many songs the fucking album going to have? Talk a hundred? And homie, his, mine says his shit. Oh, but this be out this year. And I'm a feature. I'm a, well, Clever's going to be all through our shit. Uh, that's my little brother. That's my blood. Anything I'm in, he's in. But I'm going to feature Little Danger in there. I'm going to feature uh, Rich. I'm, I'm gonna feature a bunch. I'm gonna I'm I'm feature a bunch of the brown side click in that motherfucking album because that's gonna be a banger. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a banger. When we get back in the scene, psh, man, homies, that it's coming. It. It. Yeah, it's coming. Cause hey, homies, cause then you fools ain't gonna wanna buy it. Andy Hyman, then you fools ain't gonna wanna buy it. We need you fools to support. I can't drop it. As a matter of fact. No, man, that's just the laws. That's the laws of the releasing an album. It's got to be February 9th. That's just the law, homie. As a matter of fact, you know who the, who the fuck is that? Uh, Andy Hyman, I'm going to bump some shit right now. Give me a question for Rich, man. I'm going to let him answer some shit. Give me a question for Rich. Yeah, that's right. More shots. <laughs> <laughs> let me hit you with another shot, dog. Hey, who was that? Who was that? Let me hit you with another shot. Cokes. Yeah. Oh! Oh man, that's that's yeah, that's two two drinks, homie. That's two drinks right there, dog. He's, he's regulating that's, that, that's two it's drinks. Right, now, give me some of that. You regula- what? Yeah, give me oh, some. Oh man, I want that's two sure. drinks, doggy. No, 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 no. He's Let me regulating see what's me, going to win. Come on. Who's going to win this Sunday? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real. I I, I know a bunch of my brown siders gonna hate me, man, and I'm sorry. 
I know a bunch of my brown side is gonna hate me from that side of town, and I'm gonna keep it real, man. Because I say we can talk sports, we can talk, we can talk sports. We can't, we we can't just talk soccer because I don't know shit about soccer, but we can talk sports. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and I'm gonna light a candle and I'm gonna say, "Oh, Diosito Santos, please get one of the line." Get one of the line man to just break his arm in three. I want to see him running, and I want to see three pieces of his throwing arm on the floor. And I want to see a big old pet bull come across the field and just grab one piece and just run away and eat it so they'll never find it, so they'll never put his arm together again. I'm going to pray like that. I'm going to hope Philly kicks, kicks the Patriots' ass, man. I want to see the Phillies just... To make a long story short, I'm a Patriots hater. Jonathan Perez. Jonathan Perez is our G, though, homie. Oh, Aztec, Aztec. Who? Aztec Mishima. Oh, Aztec Mishima. How does it feel to finally have your own album? Answer that question. Let me put your album on, doggy. But yeah, I'm a Patriot hater, homie. I wore that Patriot jersey last time only to, uh, to represent uh, Aaron Hernandez. Because I'm a bad guy. I root for the bad guy. That's the only reason. But I think I'm going to burn that shit on a live chat or something. I'm just... Oh, shit. It's going dead, homie. Let me plug it up. Plug that shit up. Let me plug it up. Oh, damn. That's a talks, man. You plug tripping. Plug that shit up, homie. I don't think we can save it. I don't think we can save it. You can do it. I don't think we can save it, dog. I don't think we can save it. We'll try. Oh, damn. Uh, Oh damn! Oh damn! I don't. Oh damn! I got the wrong plug in here. If we get cut off, if we get cut off, it feels good to have my own shit out, homie. You know what's up? Been a long time in the making. That's all I ever wanted, just to have my own shit. Get on this side. Let let him see I, you on this. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. I put a lot of shit down for a lot of people. Rich is tipsy like a motherfucker. Let me go try to find a different plug. <laughs> That's about to, Okay. At least it takes me a little more than half a shot, eh? Anyways, you know what? I put a lot of shit down for a lot of people. And so I was scared, you know? People didn't, some people didn't want to give me props. Some people didn't want to mention me. It's all good, homie. Because, you know, I'm putting my own shit out now. And now, you know what? Motherfuckers can't shortchange me, homie. And, you know, and uh, with my band, the Midnight Cruisers, we jam with a lot of you know, old school bands, you know what I mean? And, uh... Sometimes, you know, some of these vatos, man, they're like, oh, yo, we got a hit. What the fuck do you got? I don't care, man. I got my own shit out. And you know what? It's love for the barrio. Mm -hmm. a lot of, we got a lot of love from the barrio people, man. Spence that's all I care. That's all I care about, homie. Hey, Spencer, homies, I'm trying to give uh, life to the phone. Oh, damn. Oh, Ooh, damn. Like oh, damn. <laughs> Experience technical difficulties. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, homies, this motherfucker For sure. For sure, homie. That's it. Hey, in case this motherfucker shuts down on us, homie, it is what it is. This is the Toka Show, first episode. I don't know what. I don't know if we're gonna do uh, our next episode, and I don't even know if we're gonna do it once a month, once a week, once every two weeks. I don't know. You fools gotta let us know, man. Maybe you guys don't want to put up with our shit, or maybe we should change it to like Saturday night or something. Whatever you fools want to do, cause I know. You fools got to go make that cheddar, man. I know you fools got to go work, man. And uh, we appreciate you putting up with our shit, man. Nothing but love, man, to all our people, man. Nothing but love to all our brown siders. God damn, I'm in my throat. There you go. God <coughs> damn, dog. I feel like Celia. There you go, good. Smooth, I feel like Celia about? Cruz, homie. Azúcar, azúcar. <laughs> Woo, that shit is sweet, dog. Bucanas ain't Bucana, bullshit. Bro, Red seal. Right you know what? I put that in the freezer. I put it in the <sighs> freezer. That's how I drink it. But it's, it's good like this. Little yeah. kids, twenty one and under. Don't oh, fuck with this fire water. God damn, don't fuck with this fire water. Yeah, our livers are already fucked up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hey homie, I'm 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 already lightheaded with two drinks, and you you down in this shit like it's like like it's honey from the goddamn it is man. honeycomb, it's, dog. It's nectar from the gods. Honey. God damn, dog. My respects, big rich 
Rich G Barrio Chronicle dropping February 9th. This is the Toker Show episode one. My boy Big Rich is my first, first guest. You fools tell me when you want me to get down. I'm, I'm for the people. I'm for my people. That's it. You fools tell me when you fools want us to get down. On Saturday, Saturday evening, Saturday morning, Saturday night. I think we'd rather go on the weekend so you fools can kick it with us. But then again, you fools got a life, man. I don't know. Once a week, once a month, once every three months. This is the Toka Show, homie. We talk about everything. You fools ask us whatever the fuck you want to ask us. From two to three hours, whatever you want. Ernie Bel- Bel- oh, Ernie Beltran. I just want to say I like your style. I've been watching you for a while, and I also was running the streets back in the 80s and the 90s. You have some firme rolas, and Rich sings firme, and he's wrote a lot more stuff. Well, check this out, Ernie Beltran. If you were rapping, if you were making a movie, if you were writing a book, I would read your shit. Because if you live the life, and you've been where we've been, and you cope to what we say, then you've been in my shoes, my boy. You've been in my shoes. You've been in our shoes. I had a sucker ass fool two, three days ago that said, uh, get over yourself. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> get over myself. You don't, you don't, get off my page. Get over yourself. I don't know what the, I, I, I don't know what, I don't know, but get over myself. You don't even belong on my page. Don't get over my, just keep on trucking, homie. I forgot. He had it up. I wouldn't even say his last name, but get over myself. Get off my fucking page. This ain't for suckers, man. This is for brownsiders. That's right. This is for real people. God damn, dog. What happened? Get lightheaded on? Nah, homie, this shit just came up right now. God just, damn. Just, homie, just, if I throw up on live, that shit'll be crazy, huh? <laughs> Imagine me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, homie, I keep it real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this shit said, oop, the chicken said. Drink that tequila, the homie. chicken said, uh huh? Shut the fuck up. Uh -huh. If that's about you should drink God that damn, tequila. hell no, nah, homie. That's Give me some water. Hit that shit. Open that up. No, no, just uh, tow it. God damn, homie. What you do? Let me give me some water, homie. Let me get some of that shit. Fucking chickens. Like, whoop. Whoop. I'm like, whoa, shit. Drumsticks coming. Ah, fucking water tastes like sugar, man. Fucking water tastes like sugar. What up, Rich? Octavio Padilla. What's up, Octavio? Nothing but love, Octavio. Met him at one of my shows, homie. Oh, serious? Yeah, he he came up to me at oh. my shows. Which nobody knew about Rich G at the shows, really. Octavio knew who I was. He knew. Octavio, he's down with the brown side. Octavio sizes. Padilla, that was yeah. his name? He's Octavio Padilla. Side, this is what I tell my boy. This is what I tell my Mexican Nate dog. This is my carnal right here. I don't give a fuck. I ride for this fool. That's right. I ride for this fool. But this is what I tell my boy. I said, look, dog. As soon as your shit releases, you better get all your motherfucking, uh, what would I call them? Your mu musicians? What do I call them? Musicians? The, the ones in your group. The, 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 your boys. What do I'm I call them? My players, yeah. My players, my musicians, yeah. You know. I tell my Mexican Nate dog, you better get your motherfucking musicians to know all your songs, too. Because, man, homie, when you start doing your shows, who's going to be like, nah, fuck that, homie. Gangsta girl. Plus. Nah, homie, fuck that. G life. Nah, homie, fuck that. <laughs> Uh, fuck love. Nah, homie, I, I told him, as soon as your shit drop, hey, homie Spencer, I love you, dog, but they ain't gonna wanna hear yeah. nothing but Barrio Chronicles. So you better get your boys to learn how to play that shit, because I'm gonna tell it. you, you gonna have knuckleheads in there to go, <laughs> they ain't gonna, homie, they gonna go see Rich G. Nah, true. homie, fuck that. Give me some hood life. So your boys better be on cue. Shit, homie. Hey. We'll be ready. Hey, we got Tony G on the drums, homie. How can we go wrong? I tell you, I don't give a fuck, homie. I don't give a fuck. Your life is going to change, homie, when your album drops and you be out there doing your gigs. You're going to have homies ready. when they know Rich G. Let them know your band's name. Midnight Cruisers, homie, with two Z's. The Midnight Cruisers slash Brown Siders slash Mexican Nate Dog. I told them, get your shit ready. 
Because fools go want to hear about the Chronicles, dog. And if your boys don't know them fucking songs, they going to have to sit the fuck down. And you go ahead and put your motherfucking so USB get, in there. I get, so, a, I get a copy today, right? I get a copy tonight, tomorrow, today or tomorrow, right? Oh, <laughs> well, how can, I, how can I show my boys if I got a copy, homie? How can I show them if I ain't got a hey, copy? Hey, let me answer. <laughs> let me finish this shit, dog. All right, let all right. me finish this shit. Go I let him know. Your boys better learn how to pay that shit. That's right. Because as soon as your album drives, I don't give a fuck. That's all they want to listen to. That's all they're going to want to listen to. That's I'm right. just keeping it real. We got a new one right here. What kind of music y'all do? We do neighborhood music. We do street music. Gangster funk. Man. I tell stories like rap-like. And my boy, this is my Mexican Nate dog, Rich G. He sings. This fool right here has got more soul than Soul Train. <laughs> this is the only Mexican you're going to run into. This is the only Chicano you're going to run into. This is the only Mexican-American you're going to run into with more motherfucking soul than Soul Train. It's about that game That's game what game. kind of music we make, and I hope I made my point clear. Holy shit, doggy. Let me throw your shit out. Hold game. it right here. Gangster Chicano funk, huh? That gangster motherfucking Chicano. Oh, oh, shit. oh. There it is. Funk. I it's gotta hold that shit. Gangsta, baby. This thing shorted out. I gotta hold it to the oh, side, it's homie. It's called Gangster Baby Making Music, whatever the right. name was. That's right. Never heard of you. Never heard of us, guys? Nah, nah. Well, check that, us that, out, that's homie. A new booty. That's check, a straggler. Yeah, no, that's all right. Check us out, man. Look us up. You like it cool. If you don't, it's all right. It's all good. I ain't it's all tripping. good. He's probably Gangsta tripping. Gangsta music. That's Jose. Jose Carbajal, the homie, little woods. So yeah, he's man. probably tripping. I'm like, man, who the fuck are these fools? They got so many motherfuckers on here. This motherfucker's been out for hours. Got so many mother. Who the fuck is this, man? Is he like Michael Jackson's uh, nephew, or, or is he Elvis Presley's fucking uh, kin folk, or what the fuck are, are these fools? Nah, homies, we fools from the streets. My name is Tokes. It's my boy right here, Rich G, aka Mexican Nate Dog. We just some fools from the streets, homie. That's right. Let me play some of this shit. Uh. Somebody say yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Rasta say yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rasa say yeah. It's a Chicano group, Latin thing. Make you move, make you sing. La vida. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just keep it cool, don't you know? You can't hold back Chicano soul. La vida. I gotta get up and get my boogie out, dawg. I gotta throw my looks on for this shit. I gotta throw my looks on for this shit, doggy. I give 
you all of that. I don't mind. Give you all of that shit. Ah. That shit make Tokes want to get busy. <laughs> that shit make Tokes want to get busy because we don't give a shit. That's some gangster shit right there. Yeah, here we go. You don't make it home, homie. You can stay right here. You don't even gotta go to the beach house. Give me some of this shit. Hey, dog. Salute, my boy. Salute. Freak it up. God damn. That's not a 420 anthem. I don't know what to say, homie. It's all about the G Spencer. Spencer. Can't keep me down cause I'm brown. That's the name of this. I ain't going down cause I'm brown. I ain't going down cause I'm brown. I throw it down. That's good. We're getting up when we're staying up. I put this one on the album, cause you can you can say. This is one of Rich's babies, so I have to put it on the album, homies. Out of a back alleyway. Back alleyway in East LA, baby. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. California. Listen. East LA, USA. (laughs) Woo! All day long, baby. Go ahead, Rich. Go ahead, Rich. We didn't have a thing, no. Ooh, my boy's loaded. We pushed and shoved, yeah. And, shoved. and staring me in my face. Those crazy, 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 crazy streets I love, yeah. Give 
Hey, Mark, we wait, wait, I'm fucking up, dog. Uh, this motherfucking Bukana's got me tripping, dog. I was gonna sing the whole song. I know, but nah, we can't do that, dog. It's Spensa. Spensa, go ahead, get your money. Puta sauce. Some of us, that's what we did. Joker said, what's up, Big Rich? What's up, what's up, homie? Digging that? Jimmy was in his own blood. My abuelita prayed for me, homie. That's not the joke thing I can yeah. do. How did I survive the attack? Hey, let me fast forward this shit, dog. You're giving it too much cocaine. Ain't going down, homie. Ain't going down, homie. This is the I best. Ain't going down. This is the best motherfucking show you will go. Hey, homies, shit. Cause we kick it on the block, homies. We kick. Ain't going down. Hey, 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 hey. Brown, homie. hey. But this motherfucker got me tore up, homie. Got me <laughs> fucked up. We got hey, homie. We kick it on the block, homie. We kick shit cocked, homie. Ready to go pop, pop, homie. <laughs> Jump in the G ride, homie. Throw up the East Side. Hit that, homie. Oh. <laughs> Can't answer. Hey, G Life right here. G Life, homie. It's a talker show, homies. My motherfucking first guest, Mexican Nate Dog. Rich G. Baby. I took 
happens, Holmes. That's it happens, enough. Right? Am I, am I tripping? Are you tripping? Nah, homie. It happens. I'm good. That shit, that shit's real life. Okay, it baby. It happens in the Bobby way. Papa, Papa, little toast, you home? Come here, Papa, give me a hug, God damn it! Miss you, man. Take your hoodie off. Let them see you. You supposed to be my sidekick, man. I told him this is the Toker Show, man. I'm the Johnny Carson, and you're my Jim, uh, with Jim McMahon. What's his name? John. I think it was Jim McMahon. Jim McMahon. McMahon. You're my. You, yeah, you're my uh, sidekick, Papa. Big talk show and little talk to sidekick. You good? Yep. Give me a kiss. Okay. Miss you, man. You have fun Disneyland? Yeah. Legoland? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You like that super sweet we got I got you? Yeah. Yeah, man. What you bring me? You bring me something? No. You didn't bring me nothing? <laughs> I miss you, man. You Say what's up to my Mexican Nate dog, Big Rich. What's give up? knuckles. Give that fool knuckles, man. It's your uncle, man. Give me a fist, young homie. Get down, man. Give me another Cuts. hug, man. Damn. <laughs> Comes like an AK 47. Pop, 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 pop. It's my Mexican Nate Dog. Rich G. February 9th. Barrio Chronicles. Nate 
next week, February 9th. Wanna fuck, this is the life I live In the city where I'm from I never leave your head with it I'm not in the chrome It's a do or die day in my neighborhood The homies be tripping Always up to no good Yeah, Kasari says that's a that's a little part song from the East Side drama. Hell yeah, doggy! That's you right. know what my plan was? I always told, I always said, man, I'm gonna make Rich my Mexican Nate dog. I'm gonna make him put out a whole album. I'm gonna get him to put out a whole album, and it's gonna sound like the choruses he ever done on East Side drama, banging <laughs> stories. But I want whole songs, cause he's the shit. Nobody's ever done that before. No but I'm pretty sure I'll have copycat motherfuckers, monkey see, monkey do fools. But the ones that deserve to do something like this, I take my hat off and I salute you. Do it right. Exactly. Do it right. Because I did it right with him. That's right. I told him, hey, homie, you, you ready? You want to, you down? Let's put out a whole album. But I want you to sing whole songs. Fuck a chorus. And we I want you to original, do whole songs. Right? Yeah, 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 of course. We did some OGs. G Life is OG. Uh, Hood Life is OG. Uh, Gangster Girl won't, won't go What is it Can't keep me Ain't down? going down Ain't going down It's OG Gangster Girl is OG Fuck Love is OG A lot of shit is OG Right here homies This is What we put together Homie to homie You folks know Homie to homie That was Tokes idea Yeah homie to homie I was, I was hitting the weights That was Tokes idea Oh I bust oldies When I hit weights And I bust, I bust nothing But brown side When I hit weights So I hit the oldies And I heard Baby Woman to woman I was like Oh damn oh, Homie to recipe. homie Yo, Rich, what's cracking, homie? What are you doing? Hey, dog, I got a good idea. He says, what's up? I said, hey, fool, we're going to write some shit. She says, what track? That one, woman to woman? Yeah, what we going to do? Homie to homie. He says, I got you. We put that shit together, but we put it together G. We didn't put it out whack. Whack like some of these fools that be doing some whack ass shit. I'm fucking up oldies. Fucking them oldies up. They... Beautiful oldies, shit I grew up on. And then, oh, shit, man. What the fuck you fucked that oldie up for? Nah, we took our time, homies. We took our time. This is called Barrio Chronicles. Rich G. You fools need to peep them out. And if you support him, buy his shit. Buy his shit. Appreciate it, homies. Rich G. Barrio Chronicles dropping February 9th. This is some... Man, this is from OGs to young Gs. And you don't even have to be a G. This shit's going to touch you. This is gangster baby making music. Man, this shit get you in the mood, homie. They want me to tell a crazy story, homie. Shit, tell a crazy Who's story. Who's that? Who's that? Tell a crazy story. I don't even know who says. Andy Jaime. 
Well, you know what? Let me tell you one story about my homie. Uh, I, I ain't going down. I mentioned my homeboy That's right. Jimmy, and I mentioned my homeboy Billy. They were brothers. And after they went through all that shit getting shot, they lived barely. And after that, we were at, we were at a, we, it was New Year's. Me and Jimmy and the homeboy Big Eddie were getting ready to go out. My boy toasted. Jimmy, my it's all right. Loved. Jimmy, No, that's my boy, though, but he is telling the truth because he told me about this song. Jimmy and Billy got into it. The brothers got into it. Jimmy stabbed Billy. He stabbed him, homie. And uh, <laughs> Billy's, Billy's click, I was outside. They were ready to get down. We were ready to get down. And they're like, hey, homie, the homie, the, hom the, the vato stabbed the homie. I said, you sabes que? It's familia. We're out of it. You're out of it. So we stayed out of it. Pops came home, beat the shit out of both of them, then took homie to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Terry Dominguez, hell yeah, he's going to be signing CDs at the Brownside Store in oh, downtown yeah. L.A., 1321 South Maple Avenue, L.A. Cal, 90015. He'll be signing CDs, homies. The, th uh, the, the album drops February 9th. Uh, hard copies will come like that same week or a week after. Hell yeah, he's going to be signing CDs and posters, homie. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. You can count on that, doggy. We keep it real. Real deal. Holy field right here, homies. Shit, man. My fucking voice is going, man. Drinking this goddamn fire water. <laughs> Serious, man. I'm starting to sound cool like wicked. It helps. <laughs> called Dirty Dancing. This one's called Dirty Dancing, but check out the lyrics. Check out the lyrics. Baby making music. If you're with your woman in the room, listening to this, you'll be like, oh, baby. Get on top of me, girl. Get on top of me. Yeah. Yeah. You dress your woman up into some sexy ass clothes. See through shit to this. Name the baby rich or folks that This is, this is, imagine Keith Sweat being gangster. This is, <laughs> imagine right. Art Kelly not pissing on little girls and shit and be keeping it gangster. This is like, this is gangster shit, homie. That's right. This is, imagine, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Imagine Keith Sweat in some khakis and a white tee and some chucks. Imagine his hair combed back, slick back with three flowers in it. Keith Sweat. Imagine him gangster as fuck, singing. That'll be like here, right there. But my Mexican Nate dog, mm -hmm. he's his own man. But imagine that. Imagine that. Should we, we did this shit right, man. Now that I got you Take him back to this. Let's take him back to the sax. Right here. This is here your bedroom with your girl. This is where you let her have it. Right here. Oh girl. Oh. Start slow. Yeah. Pick that leg up. Get your leg up to the side, baby. Go. 
This fool, this fool right here, Lucio Log. Lucio Log, check this out. He said, The parte de mi hana, she says, Thanks. That's right, homeboy. <laughs> That's right, homeboy. Nothing but love to you and your hana. Yeah, they're gonna be the first ones to Nothing make that but love, homie. You fools 